first tell me about your recent survey. What were the findings? Well, what we found with the recent Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey survey were that parents throughout New Jersey are really becoming aware of the issues of prescription drug abuse. And they're also becoming aware of steps they can take in their homes to help protect their children. Uh, one thing we found was that over 70% of parents in New Jersey recognize the fact that the medicine cabinet, their own medicine cabinet, is really the access point for young people accessing prescription drugs and abusing them. So that's really a great finding because several years ago, this issue was really not on the radar screen. And today we're finding that over an overwhelming majority of parents are acknowledging this issue and taking steps within their own home to help protect their families. How widespread is this problem among adolescents and what age group are we talking about? We're talking about anyone anywhere between 12 and 20 some odd years old um, and what we're finding unfortunately that this particular issue has reached epidemic levels. Uh, every day throughout the United States 40 young people die of prescription drug abuse and every day 5,000 young people experiment with prescription drug abuse for the first time. So we realize that this is something that we need to address head on and I think in New Jersey we are taking tremendous steps to be able to address this issue. Is this a slippery slope, meaning it starts with prescription drugs, maybe it, maybe it leads to other drugs? There's no question about that. Uh, what we have found from our partners in the treatment community and law enforcement is that the next step unfortunately is heroin abuse. So young people are going from prescription drug abuse and those that are becoming addicted move on to heroin. What is being done to address this problem? Well, I think there are several steps. Uh, the first step is education. Uh, there's a misperception among young people that because these drugs are prescribed by doctors and grandma takes them or they might see a television commercial about some of the benefits, that it's, it's safe for them to experiment. And we know the complete opposite is true. These drugs can become very addictive and they're prescribed by doctors for a particular patient understanding that patient's health conditions. So number one is to try to explain and do all you can to educate your children about this issue. Secondly, it's important to know what you have in your own medicine cabinet. Uh, we need, to, we need pe parents to take inventory. Uh, we need parents to uh, make sure that they keep those medicines in a safe place away from children, lock those medicines like you would a, a liquor cabinet. And the third thing is make sure that you dispose of your medicines. And that is really important because when we dry up the supply, I think we're going to see less and less people, young people, have access to these for the first time. Which medicines are particularly um, a, a real problem? Well, unfortunately, uh, what we're finding is that young people are just grabbing whatever they can find. And uh, it, it really is uh, not a specific medicine they might be uh, looking to get access to, especially those that are experimenting for the first time. So what we're urging parents to do is to make sure that they really look at every single medicine, both over-the-counter as well as prescription medication, and make sure that they are secure and locked and disposed of if they're no longer being utilized. And, and speaking of some of the expired medicines, that's something you want parents to look at as well, and, and there are campaigns to encourage them to get rid of them, yes? Yes, actually, in New Jersey, we were the first state in the nation to hold a statewide day of disposal. And it was held about four years ago, and it was so successful that it became a model for the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy. They highlighted what we did in New Jersey. We really uh, co had a cooperative effort between law enforcement, our, our treatment partners and our prevention partners, and most importantly, the media, which was so important in getting the message out. But that particular day in November of 2008, we had over 50,000 people come out from throughout the state of New Jersey and dispose of their medicine at a, at a location near them, at a police department or a police-run collection site. Now, that's changing because people are demanding that they have more frequent opportunities to dispose of their medicine as they become educated. Mm -hmm. So what's happening most recently is that many police departments and sheriff's offices are hosting permanent collection sites within their facilities. So a person can go anytime and dispose of their unused and expired medicines. And we have at the partnership an app which uh, residents in New Jersey can access free of charge. It's called AMCC, American Medicine Chest Challenge, RX Drop. And it's a wonderful app because it gives you an opportunity to check where the local site is in your community or your county where you can dispose of your medicine at any time. Wonderful information. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.